I got a 3D printer about eight months ago and I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that I've made with it. Let's get into it. And one of the first things I made was this maple sap level detector. I used these little pucks from Wise. They're called Wise Sense. Uh, when they touch together, you get a notification on your phone. And so I made these little 3D printed arms and they've got this little pocket. You take the Wise Sense and they just have this very tight, perfect custom fit. Nice friction fit, no screws or anything needed. And when you touch it together, when the when the sap raises up, touches those together, you get a notification on your phone. It just clips over the edge, really nice and custom to the bucket that I have. Now, if I could do it again, you can see the angle on this is a little bit funny. It sticks up in the air, so it would have to get up pretty high to actually trigger that. A little higher than I want, so in the future, maybe next year, I'll redesign it and make it so that it's a little bit lower and trigger a little bit sooner. But the proof of concept is totally there. This next one's admittedly a little bit ridiculous. 3D printer was my hammer and the entire world seems like a nail to me. So I have chickens every morning I would come out and I'd feed them some of my breakfast scraps or food scraps from the night before. And when I was done with that, I wanted to check to see if they had eggs. Now a shelf would work fine unless there was snow and the snow would stick to the bottom of the plate and bring in water. Now I've got this nice little thing. I can stick a plate in, it holds it. I can have a free hand open the door and I'm good to go. This next one's simple enough. I had a chip clip that broke, so I printed this little thing that I could super glue in there, hold the hinge just right, and make it brand new again. No more wasted plastic. Next, I made a lithophane for my mom's birthday. Oh my gosh! Oh, look at that. Yeah. I had an old subwoofer, and the grill clips um, that hold the grill on the front of the subwoofer. They just broke. And so I 3D printed these little replacements, exactly the right size. They just push in, fit real nice and tight, nice friction fit. And then they just snap on the front of the subwoofer. It'd be hard to find replacements for these. I got tired of using keys to get into the house. And so I got one of these electronic deadbolts. However, straight out of the box, it's a little bit too loose in my existing hole. And the spacer that came with it, it's just a little bit too big. So in comes 3D printing. You make a little spacer that's exactly the right fit, exactly fits both the door and the lock. Just slide it in there and crisis averted. Easy fix. No drill, no tools needed. Now, I am obsessed with disc golf. Now, if you've ever played disc golf, you know that it's easy to lose a disc. So I made this fancy 3D printed disc golf disc grabber. You just set the trap, push it over the edge of the disc, and just like a mouse trap, it triggers. You can pull it out. Works great. Anyone who wears hoodies has run into this problem before. Run it through the washing machine. The washing machine pulls the string out, and it's a pain in the butt to get it back in there. You can buy commercial tools to help get it back in there, but I figured why not try 3D printing one? So just 3D printed this tool, put the knot in there, and it makes super easy work without damaging your hoodie. I've got a bread machine and would love to wash it in the dishwasher, but the bottom would fill up with water. And so I 3D printed this little plug, keeps the water from getting in there. I've got this plant that was getting a little bit top heavy for the pot that it was in, and it was starting to lean in the soil. And so I 3D printed these supports, and you can add room for a little zip tie to hold them together in the middle. Just brace them against the sides of the pot, throw in the zip tie, pull it together, and I've got a supported plant. The hose on my portable air conditioner would kind of weigh down the window adapter that the hose sat in. So I made these little 3D printed supports that just sit on top and brace the adapter against the window. And it can't move anymore. I rigged up the power antenna off an old Volvo to open the drawbridge door on my chicken coop. And so we just put it together here. It's this nice little hinge action so the antenna is always pulling the door in a straight manner. I wired the antenna to a smart outlet so I can control it with my phone. And the door automatically opens in the morning and closes at night. Works great. Wanted to free up some counter space and so I printed this little charger holder for my electric toothbrush. I've had this tool bag for forever, and the sharp points on these tools just wore a hole right into the bottom of the pouches. So I printed these little pouch pocket protectors. They just slide right into the existing pockets, and it gives the bottom of the tool something to rest on. 
I have this ancient heat gun and the stand for it is just getting a little bit old. It's kind of just stretched out, it's not really holding it upright anymore. So I 3D printed this very simple adapter. It's totally not adjustable at all, but I always set it on its back anyway. Very stable. I made a holder for my pressure washer hose and I made another holder for the pressure washer wand and a holder for my air compressor drain hose and for the other side of the air hose so it doesn't hit my head. I have accrued an enormous collection of nuts and washers that I'd like to sort out. So I 3D printed these little screens that I could put into a quart jar and it helps me sort them out. This ended up didn't working out too well so I printed a bigger one for the smaller stuff and I got through it a lot quicker as it didn't break. I was able to sort out all my hardware. Another thing that I printed is a mount for the camera that I'm recording this video with right now to center the camera inside of my ring light. Now, if you're asking yourself if 3D printing can be useful for you, I think it depends on who you are as a person, what you enjoy doing for fun. A huge part of a 3D printing hobby is actually 3D drawing. So I use a program called Fusion 360. Uh, it's free. It's very simple to make some seemingly complex shapes in next to no time at all. It just takes a little bit of patience. There is a little bit of a learning curve, but once you get it, uh, it's, it's just fascinating to be able to draw anything your mind can imagine in just a few clicks and actually see it in real life straight from your 3D printer. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. I hope this was helpful. I hope this excited you and inspired you to get into 3D printing. And I uh, look forward to hearing from you. Thanks a lot.